What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Podcast. What was your first TV credit? <laughs> two Broke Girls. <clears throat> two Broke Girls? I had two lines on Two Broke Girls, man. Uh, person in line. That was my big break. <laughs> That's no, tight. for real, man. I, I auditioned. And like sometimes those roles are harder to get because it's not like Asian specific. So yeah. everybody and their mama was like auditioned for it. Like right before me, it was like 40 year old white lady, you know? Because it's just person in line, you know? Yeah. It's not Asian person in right. line. So, um, and that's usually not what people are thinking when they're casting. That yeah. Necessarily. And I was like late to the audition. I was like <laughs> damn. hustling because like I parked like five blocks away and they were about to be done with the casting session. But sometimes that's like when you stop thinking, you know, when, when you're so flustered, you're like, I'm just going to do it and I don't give a fuck. And that's when you get the job sometimes. That's how I felt when I got the, su the superstore role. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah? When you went yeah, into that audition? Yeah, because, well, they met you before. You met the director, the producer, and then you auditioned two different times for different things, and they didn't pick you for those. No, but that's when they like you, though. They and yeah. then they back liked auditions. you, and yeah. then they just wrote you a little part. That's awesome. So, Nico Santos, he's a homie, yeah. man. Yeah. He's so you, uh, on Silicon Valley, you started out with a couple lines, right? A couple lines. It was like a co-star, bro, because, you know, co-star yeah. means, like, five lines or under, and then guest stars five lines or more in one episode. It's a co-star. It was like two or three lines, and I got paid like 900 bucks, right? And then they wrote me two or three more lines, and they wrote me. So the first year, I made like two grand uh, because I had like five lines total in three episodes. And then the second season, I like uh, this is like one of my favorite stories to tell. Like, there's a whole chapter of this in the book. Was I got offered because I auditioned for another show for Yahoo because Yahoo was getting into like original series. So it's a basketball show called like Sin City Saints, scripted show. And I got like a main character series regular part, right? But then Yahoo's like, if you want to do us, you can't do HBO. Damn. And I didn't even know if, first of all, Silicon Valley's going to come back or if I'm going to be on Silicon Valley because I only had like five words, you know what I mean? And then I told my agent, I'm like, dude, we got to take a chance, you know? Like, I don't know if this Yahoo show is going to go. And trust me, like that Yahoo show paid like many, many times more than that two grand, right? And I was a broke ass comic. <laughs> And then I was like, yo, but we got to do Silicon Valley because that's going to be a big show. Like, I can already tell. It's you Mike know? Judge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then my agent was smart enough. She was like, okay, let me call HBO and see what they will match the offer and make you a series regular. And I was like, yo, don't even do that because that's fucking crazy. <laughs> HBO is going to think I'm stupid. Yeah. Mike just think I'm a greedy person, like whatever. And then she was like, no, just trust me. Let me do it. And then they did it. And HBO said yes. Like, they wanted to keep me around and, you know, you I became keep a, that agent, you know, and uh, well, I didn't after, after <laughs> a while, you know, but, uh, <laughs> she, she made a good, smart move, but yeah, that was smart move. that's crazy. Huh? That's yeah. good, though, but you do get worried about asking for things like that. But right. that's why you have agents. Right? I know the yeah, agent yeah. is the one who takes the hit. But but yeah. Everybody outside of TV thinks you're rich off those five lines. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, I was bro, driving but, Uber between season one and two of Silicon Valley, bro. And it was like, like yo, aren't soldier, you, aren't though. you that dude? I'm like, no. Nah, Are we filming like, nah. right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we? What's up? This is cash cab or what? <laughs> what? What's it like working with um, T.J. Miller? He was awesome, man. He was like the homie, and like, if I, I'm not. You knew him before though, right? Before I Silicon, knew of him. Know to him. I ran into him, but like, we we're never like boys or anything, yeah. right? Like, I just seen him around, and I don't think he knew who I was, but like. He's so fucking good, right? He is. Huh? And he improvs so well that he keeps you on your toes. And, like, we we earn this trust with each other. And it was, like, an instant chemistry where, like, I know if I throw out some crazy shit, he would give me the perfect response. I mean, he throws out some crazy shit, I got him. You know what I mean? Like, we understand the dynamic. And, um, yeah, man, like, he was, like, my boy on the show, dude. Was that weed on the show? <laughs> uh, I, everybody. Oh, and I don't know if everybody smokes weed, but I think that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a weed smoking community. Where the <laughs> where the sh the show shot at? Sony, Sony. Yeah, all of it, even the outside. Sometimes there's uh, the exterior of the house is somewhere yeah. in a real house here, and then um, uh, what's it called? Like sometimes once a year we we'll go to San Francisco mm -hmm. for like the news interview segment and like um, uh, like the exterior of like say say like the Giant Stadium or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mostly shot here. How much of the punchline that you threw in there or improv? How much? So they let us do it. Because a, a lot of times you throw in a funny ass line and they cut to um to another scene, but it was hilarious. I'm still laughing like when you brought those yeah. when you brought those cigarettes. That was a good time. Oh yeah, the <laughs> special that occasion with the cigarettes. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that became a thing because like it was like I only <laughs> smoke on special occasions. That was one episode, and then now like ever since then like now, now every time my character does something cool, I always ask the prop guy. I'm like, give me a cigarette, you know, like <laughs> we should probably smoke it, you know. 
So um yeah, we try to add stuff um in there, but the writing's already so good. Yeah. So even if you don't, it's like awesome. And whenever you do get a line that you or an action, sometimes improving is not just a line, right? It's like an action like that leads to maybe some more lines. Like in one of the episodes where it's this baby shower, I went away and I came back with like a little, you know, a skim milk chalice that like you put mm-hmm. in the coffee and I start like drinking it in front of TJ. And I just asked Mike, I was like, how, is it, it going to be funny if I do this? And he's like, let's try it. So just like sometimes finding props, fi- you know, trying stuff. And that led to like pretty funny moment. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they let us try stuff. And then sometimes the writers and the directors will be there and they'll throw us lines too. Yeah. So you got you got a, a bigger role now that TJ Miller's gone? Yeah. I mean, I was sad, man, uh, for him to go. Me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he, he's super fun. And I was like worried. I was like, oh, shit. Where Alec Berg. <laughs> Alec Berg's Alec Berg's a great dude, but I think I I don't know from the articles that I've read, you know, they they didn't see eye to eye. But um, he's a great writer, and TJ is a really good, you know, comedic actor. It just sometimes the chemistry don't work. You think out, he you know? stood on that show when he could have done more movies? Yeah, he he called me and he was like, I'm I'm quitting the show because I I, I need to spend more time doing movies. And me and my wife, uh, we want to go move to New York and do more comedy, mm-hmm. you know. So um, I was like, man. I, I wish you'd stay. He was like, nah, you know, my mind's made up. And, uh, and you know what? But it turned into, for the show-wise, for my character-wise, it turned into a blessing in disguise, you know, because now my guy gets to do a little more and fill in some of that void. So you're like the bad guy now in the show? Yeah, man. It's uh, it's pretty fun to play the <laughs> asshole. So many people, they're like tweeting me now. They're like, I fucking hate you this season. <laughs> Which is great, right? Because like that's yeah. the purpose of it. And then oh, you yeah. see there's a whole arc of it. He, he becomes like pretty... Like a pretty super villain. Like my first yeah, scene was like when, when, my first scene when you when you actually took over the house and you were smoking a cigarette, right? Yeah. And you got any apps? You got to build making apps. <laughs> yeah. I'm like no, can't come in. Yeah. <laughs> but What's that's so up? funny though. What, what? Also, no, it's just like I love the the character. I hope you went to China with. That's the last episode you went to China yeah. to start the new new internet. A lot of people are like very worried. I'm worried. They're like, I'm oh worried. shit, is this the end of Jing Yang? And the house the is empty SBL. and everything. Yeah. I really hope it's Keep watching. That's that, the cliffhanger. But it's- <laughs>